Good morning from Beirut, November 11th, 2012. Thank you for being one of about three or four people to watch my Beirut Marathon video. We're uh, just about to go to the start here. By we, I mean me. I don't know why I said we. I'm sorry about that. Uh, this is uh, the eastern edge of the Mediterranean. And just over here is the start. And just when I thought it wasn't going to rain, I'm now feeling some raindrops. But we're going to race will go this way and work its way kind of uh, roughly count, uh, counterclockwise uh, around Beirut. Um, more to come. reality is this is surely one of the bombed out parts of uh, West Beirut. Stands next to some brand new buildings. This whole area was flattened in the Civil War. Not too many people at the beach today. This race comes well supported, water, nutrition, soldiers with automatic rifles. That's cool to see in any race, especially this one. It's a pretty hilly course. Wait a minute, I remember that guy. Just kind of chilling when you look at that. It's even got growths coming out. I can't believe what these people have been through. These three guys here are uh, UN workers. Some kind of peacekeeping mission. <laughs> I'm not sure, but I think the guy on the left is some kind of Armenian leader. And then there's maybe the, that might be the archbishop. But I'm guessing that is some kind of plea for peace in Arabic. Now that's what I need. That would probably improve my time quite a bit. Those wheelchairs really get flying on these downhills. A few near, near misses there. This gentleman is not happy about stopping. <laughs> the bells are tolling.
This one's for the irony department. Good old uh, golden arches. And then, as you may recall, laser lipo. Opposite sides, the same coin. Well, 200 meters to go. Fortunately, we're starting just how we finished. Lots of rain. Don't know how this is going to go when I put it in the plastic bag, but here we go. Oh man. Oh man, they're just they're just allowing the doping now. They're not even trying. Wow, that is a beautiful mosque. So we're back in the hotel. They've already dismantled the start area. Life getting back to normal, and as you can see, hey, what do you know? The rain stopped. <laughs> that would have been nice a little while ago. Just had about a had a very chilly two kilometer walk to this hotel. But one thing about this race is it really puts into perspective how trivial any discomfort you have. Uh, you see the bombed out areas that are still here from the Civil War and um, you can also sense the tension that they fear this might happen again in the not too distant future. Um, yeah, I really hope the best for Beirut and for Lebanon. Uh, wonderful, really warm, friendly people. It's actually a city with a very low crime rate, so uh, other than the, the, the always potentially dangerous um, political situation. Uh, you can be very safe here. They can just keep living together. Anyway, if you ever want to come do a very different sort of race, I strongly recommend the Beirut Marathon. They also have a 10K race if you're interested in that. So, thanks for watching.